The QC graph in Trimble Access is an extremely useful tool for checking your survey data. You can turn the QC graph on by going to the menu, job, data, and QC graph. You'll see a bar graph of all the survey points in your job and it will show different attributes. So here we are showing the P dot of all of the points we measured. I can review an individual point and have a look at why the P dot for this point might be high. In this case, we can see that point was measured close to the building, which makes sense why the geometry might not have been so good. You've also got the option to display a lot of other attributes of the points. A really useful one is target heights. Here you can see most of the target points are the same, except for a few of them in the middle. This looks to be a blunder, where I've accidentally typed in 20 instead of 2. I can click the individual points and review to see what points, between what points did I make the mistake, and I can review them and if I orbit the map, you can see they're actually a lot lower than the others. It definitely looks like a blunder in this case. To change those points, I can go to our point manager. And in the point manager, you see a list of all your points. Usually you see them listed as grid points, but we can change the display to show them as target points, target heights, sorry. And we can order them based on those target heights. Now I can scroll down and find all of the target heights that have 20 meters. And I can select more than one of them. So I'll click the first one. I'll hold down shift and I'll click the last one. And that will select all of the target heights in that range. I can tap edit, then targets, to change those target heights back to the correct value of two. Now I can go back to my QC graph and I can see all of those target heights look correct. So the, the QC graph is a really good tool for checking your survey data before you go back to the office.